Welcome back to my channel, Own Your Own Freedom. I am out here sitting along the river, not even a river, it's just a small little place to sit um, near my apartment. And um, yeah, I sort of was reflecting a little bit because there's some things that I've been seeing um, online, I would say in our community, in this community of survivors that it's been bothering me um, for a while now and it's that we uh, are stuck many youtubers um, and many of us who have uh, suffered from some sort of toxic abuse like from a narcissist or something like that um, we sort of are stuck in this paradigm um, of victim mentality and uh, and I and my whole the whole point of my channel is not to get you to be a victim for the rest of your life, right? It's it's not to be to sort of linger and to saute yourself and fillet yourself in all your negative experiences is to learn from them so that no one will ever treat you in that way ever again. No one will ever make you feel like a shell of a human being ever again. And so you know, I have a, I just did a recent um, interview with Divinya from the, uh, who is also, a, you know, a Bible teacher and also very knowledgeable about social issues and cultural issues. And, and I, I just, I, it's important for us to realize that though these things are happening around us and though we have suffered many things, we should never victimize ourselves and put us in, put ourselves in a position of being the victim we are survivors, right? If you want to check out the part two to my uh, interview, go to my subscribe star. I will put the link in the description and also in the first comment. Um, but I want you to see that, and I want you to hear sort of the way that we're ta we were talking in that interview it was very productive. And so along those lines, here are three ways that you can victimize yourself. Right? It's one thing to be a victim of something, it's another thing to claim a victim status, right? So, number one, maybe you don't respect your will. People who are perpetually victims have one thing in common and that it's that they don't respect their own will. They don't respect and utilize and preserve their own ability to say no and they don't respect the fact that they always, you always contribute to your circumstances. So maybe your favorite tool is blame. Maybe you blame other people, blame society, blame culture, blame your upbringing for all these different things. Not, that, not to negate the fact that they do have something to do with how you were raised, right? How you came into being. But that is not who you are. And that's not your destiny. Um, and so, Everything requires your consent. Whether or not you believe in a reality as a child is different because as a child, it's based on your survival, right? You need to survive. And so in order to make sure you get your, necess your necessities, you have to obey the person that is the source, the perceived source of that experience, right? And so maybe at that time, and for me, that was the case, you sort of learned behaviors to protect and preserve yourself right but now as adults we can choose and learn after acknowledging what we went through and our patterns we can choose and acknowledge the path to freedom path to not being manipulated and all of that so you can you you have some contribution to your success and that is your will to choose every experience you go through requires that you internalize a reality and integrate it with your own it requires you to either submit to your you know the experience or to overcome it you submit yourself under it or you overcome it 
either give up your power or you retain it. So that's number one. Number two, you don't engage in self-growth. This is something that I've been seeing with YouTubers, uh, you know, that are supposed to, supposedly, you know, life coaches or uh, all these different things. They, they, pr they produce content that keeps you stuck in this rut, this cycle of acknowledging and rehashing and reviewing and re you know, all, all of your experiences and it's not healthy. They do it because it's a paycheck, right? From YouTube and, and, you know, and from their clients. But in reality, it's not healthy for you or for them. At some point you, you acknowledge, you've, you, I mean, you acknowledge what happened. At some point there's, you, you overanalyze what happened to you. You over dissect it, you know? And at some point you need to grow and you need to move ahead and move forward and claim ownership of your life. And that's what my channel is for. That's what my consultations are for, all of that. And so it's amazing how many people uh, have not engaged in self-growth. And so most of, most majority of people, that's why we encounter uh, narcissists and all of that. Most people don't engage in self-growth. Most people just have their vices to distract themselves but they don't actually grow. But for you and I, we, we have progressed past this society of, you know, self-coddling and, you know, oh, loving yourself and protecting yourself. No, we acknowledge what happened to us and we grow. Uh, and that is one of the major things that empaths can, or people who've suffered from abuse, can fall into is not doing the self work is you blame and you look around at everyone else but you don't acknowledge right what you can do to actually grow from the inside out right there are things that we can always do better and it doesn't depend on anybody else it only depends on you also last one number three is you don't forgive there is, or there are a few channels that in the beginning of my growth, of my coming out of uh, my narcissistic family dynamics and out of a narcissistic relationship, there were some things that, there were some channels that I would sort of indulge in and they sort of, they sympathize with me because they were angry and they were, you know, they were the channels that were like, you know, this is why, you know, five reasons the narcissist will will miss you when you're gone, you know, and all of these things. Five reasons the narcissist always will want you back. Like all these different things that are just not healthy, right? They, they soothe our brokenness in the beginning, but we need to progress beyond them. And so we need to forgive. It doesn't mean negating what they've done. And I have a whole video on this, boundaries, when and if to forgive the narcissist, right? there is a way to let go of all the things that they've done to you without it without without you know negating the fact that they've done something that was damaging and even you perceived it as permanently damaging there is a way to release them of any power or impact they ever had on you and that is true forgiveness these you know these these channels and I'm not trying to compare myself or compare them to me because I'm not the standard for what you know of a survival channel is supposed to be or a growth channel self-help I'm just saying that most of them do not acknowledge this part of our growth right you must forgive it is not for them it's for you it's for your going on it's for your progress right and some of you may struggle with forgiveness you, maybe you think that that's sort of a way to get back at the person who hurt you and that's that's a wrong mentality you must forgive you must move on from what they've done and maybe you don't feel someone deserves your forgiveness and, and honestly the narcissist maybe for all that they've done to you maybe they don't deserve forgiveness but that is not your decision that's not up to you whether they deserve it or not what is up to you is whether you give it to them whether you allow the pain to keep you from releasing them and the power that they had over you away from your life it's like a boulder tied to your neck and you're trying to swim through life 
you're not going anywhere right all your relationships sink with you all your all your attempts to be loving and open sink with you because this giant boulder of unforgiveness is around your neck release this i hope this was very helpful to you guys because you know this is one of those things that these are these things that i, I mean we can sort of stay stuck in here stuck in this realm of you know pity me i'm 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 a super empath i'm someone who you know just loves 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 everyone but that's eventually we need to get grounded in reality and realize that we have a journey a journey that i can help you with a journey that your hopefully your friends and family members can help you with but don't get stuck in these holes of victimhood some people for you know for them victimhood is sort of this badge of honor but for us it is a wound that we need to grow beyond we acknowledge it we heal we move forward let me know if you have any questions about this uh hopefully i can make another series on this but this was just an impromptu i decided to go for a walk and get out of my apartment and just enjoy life you know out here in the grass and just you know enjoy anyway i don't know i'm rambling now but yeah this was very spontaneous so like my channel subscribe to my channel join the freedom community on subscribe star and on facebook uh go to my website check out my coffee consultations just reach out to me i want to hear your story i want to hear how you're healing how you're moving on so that we can move on together so with that said